get into those lose quarters or winners quarters matches with uh, MJ versus Smug. So from what I understand, it's been pretty quiet tonight. So it's good to hang out with y'all chat. But let's see how this match is going because MJ has actually been um, kind of running MDVA, well, the MD side of the tracks, low key. Um, pretty or quite a few top three finishes has been winning a couple Zandu grinds. This guy is on the war path and Smub is looking like another stepping stone in the way for now. But we've seen um, a few Ridleys come out to play, Creep Hoover being one of them. And Ridley, I feel like people are really starting to believe in this character a bit more after COVID. And this character always had a couple tips and tricks, but always kind of fell to the trapping to the big body characters, you know? Uh, just kind of get comboed for days, and really is not all that heavy for the size. So you have to be really on point and have your reads on point as well. And also, stuff like this happens. Like, you get trapped on the ledge for five years, and you have to take mad risks to get off. Or mad risks to get a kill, but that one paid off. Using the iframes of the up smash to sneak that one in there. MJ dropping down to second stock and still very doable. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, we're good. I was worried that he wouldn't have the angle, but okay, we got these. We got these. Don't get him, MJ. Good tech, MJ. You got another. Has to back air. He might be a little bit too low, though. Has to air dodge back. Great presence of mind right there by MJ. But even though that didn't get the kill, that edge guard definitely put MJ into kill percent. As Smob is looking to tee off of the fences, but it's tagged by an up smash out of shield. Got to come correct against Ridley. Got to really make sure that everything is um, like on point and airtight right there. Why do I feel like this could end bad? Okay, good DI right there by Smub. If he had went off stage there, that could have ended atrociously. Still is not looking great, but not as bad as it could have been. Almost as bad as it could have been. Uh, as bad as it could have been. Uh, arguably worse. It took longer. <laughs> but MJ going up 1-0 at the moment. Nice stuff, nice stuff. And by seeding, no surprise. MJ has, like, as I said, kind of been running these streets out here. Man, it is quiet as heck in the Xandu today. And the wild thing is that there's still over 100 entrants here. I think it was like 106, 108. So definitely no signs of uh, slowing down hardcore out here in MDVA. But here we go. Smub getting their counter pick in FD. Let's see what happens. So FD, I mean, most stages in this game kind of end up being a double-edged sword. Like very few characters get absolutely screwed by a stage. Um, Ridley, I feel like, has the potential to uh, kind of get screwed over a lot of percent um, on a flash stage like this against Rob, who can drop the gyro, cover a whole zone, and then just run and be another zone. But right now, Smub looking a lot more comfortable in this pick. Oh, watch your shield, MJ. Right, here we go. Toss the gyro away, but gonna have another one out in time to call out the ledge in. Just got a jump left, but don't have a stock left, that's for sure. Oh, MJ, almost getting tagged by a forward smash. All right, able to neutralize things just a little bit. Here we go. Getting that combo going. But Smub answering back aggressively. Oh, I think that was supposed to be a back air, but um, buffered the uh, turnaround a little bit too early. Oh, good angle right there by Smub. No side B from MJ right there. Possibly even some damage on the table with this. Might kill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one has to be one of the biggest fake out moves in, like, Smash Ultimate in general. That and Fox back air. If you see the kill screen on those, don't worry, you're probably still alive. All right. Escorted across the stage. Oh. But one of the good things about this matchup is that if you leave the gyro right on the ledge, Ridley's wings during the up B go so high above them, and they're completely intangible. So um, you can clear the gyro away sometimes and kind of mitigate some of the ledge pressure. You just have to worry about everything else the character has, but you don't have to worry about the gyro as much if it's at the ledge as you're recovering. That's why MJ's doing something really smart by just launching the gyro so it slides off the ledge um, and it's not in that threat range of the up B, or just kind of trying to two-frame with it. Good uh, little adaptations right there by MJ. 
Smub, though, keeping it very, very close. With Ridley, I mean, this is a hit and a half away. Well, make it uh, just a hit. Just a hit. No need for the half, because that up smash counts enough for two. Uh-oh, but here's just FD things, just Rob things. Having to land against the gyro and the character and the lasers, a tall order. Gets the grab, what's the mix-up? Burns a jump, has to recover low. No time to set up for the down air, though. MJ with the gyro pressure, just sliding that over the ledge again. Giving some up a little bit something else to think about, but right now he has to think about that trip to the loser's bracket as uh, MJ takes a set 2 0. <laughs> But that was a pretty solid winner's quarter set. 